Hi everyone, welcome back. Chris Stout here. In this episode, we're going to review how the C8 looks after I drove 500 miles uh, to and from South Beloit uh, to go to a track day at Blackhawk Farms Raceway and running on it. We've got a video of what that was like uh, in the notes below. And then I drove over 1,450 miles uh, to and from the Arkansas Mile in Blytheville, Arkansas, and did a land speed racing event there, which I also have a um, video uh, in the links below, and hit a top speed, which I was very proud of, of 168.099 miles per hour. In this relatively brief video, uh, I'm going to have, uh, or episode, I'm going to have three videos, uh, basically just uh, coming into Young Automotive, uh, what we learned at Young Automotive underneath, and then likewise going to Patriot Chevrolet and what was going on below that. I do want to highlight, though, um, please do check out, if you're interested in this, um, track setup in terms of the gear. We have a video on that in the links below. We have uh, track prep part one, um, which actually this episode you're watching right now is part three. Uh, part one covers specs, tips, Cosworth toolbox, track insurance, etc. Kind of demystifies all those. And part two of track preparation is what I call a yellow pa uh, paper tabletop of kind of just stepping through what my notes were and kind of getting things organized, what it was like uh, in the shop and then in car walkthroughs. Uh, or in car, which is kind of uh, awkward to say, a walkthrough in the car, but going through the things in the car and review. And then finally, driver fitness uh, and working with Hammer Nutrition as a brand ambassador uh, with the unboxing of the kit and the things that I use to um, stay cramp free and properly hydrated and properly um, uh, recovered uh, after these events. So uh, what you're going to see in the balance of this episode is at Young Automotive uh, getting the oil and filter change. The oil pretty much looked like it needed replacing, which is, I guess, makes sense. It wasn't a whole lot of miles, but they were very, um, I guess, in some sense, it was a lot of highway miles and then a lot of um, stress on the engine uh, doing the racing and stress on all the body parts or all the components of the car. Uh, I was happy to see that after all that mileage that it was still very tidy underneath the car. Uh, everything looked really good, surprisingly good, considering um, you know it wasn't abused or anything, but just uh, that, that many highway miles, you'd expect maybe some dings or stone chips or something. You didn't see anything like that. Uh, likewise, I used the bra going to and from all these events, and that really kept the nose of the car um, in very good condition. I was very happy with that. Uh, we checked the brake fluid, uh, clear as water, and looked good. Did not need any topping off. That was great. Uh, we did notice that uh, there was some um, kind of not, I don't know how to describe it, just an unevenness of the interior wear on the tires. It was more noticeable on the rear tires. So we decided to do a left-right tire rotation and then uh, tightened up the lug nuts back to 140 pounds. Uh, then uh, next went to Patriot Chevrolet. Uh, in that part of the video, you'll see the underbody uh, panels were taken off. That was the first time I got to see underneath in there. Um, just very interesting, great to see the uh, structure and the architecture of how they that was built. Um, and we did a transmu transmission fluid drain refill and new filter. Uh, that was all covered under warranty uh, as part of the first 7,500 mile uh, servicing. Um, I didn't get it done when I had the oil change done at Patriot. If you see some of the other videos, you'll see that. Um, basically because they didn't have the proper filter at that time, which was also fine with me because I really um, didn't want to kind of, it almost seemed like it'd be a waste. And I felt it'd be better to do it after this much mileage and in these two kinds of conditions to be able to have that done. So uh, all that went well. That servicing took a little while longer um, just simply because of the panels needing to be taken off. There's a lot of uh, uh, unique kinds of uh, bolt heads on those to, to do that. So anyway, I hope you enjoy watching these other couple of uh, just short videos in this episode. And I hope if you're interested in this, uh, please do subscribe subscribe and do look at some of the other links of the other videos that we have. Um, at the time of doing this, we're kind of in between races. The next one will be Ultimate Streetcar Challenge um, at Road America. Thanks for watching.
and back at Young Automotive for our in-between uh, racing oil change and we'll check out and see what things look like uh, underneath the car this time. Okay, back at Young, um, we swapped, Cal swapped uh, right and left side tires. We were getting some, he noticed some what was formerly interior uh, wear on it. So this should hopefully get a little bit more uh, life out of it. We also, um, oh, everything actually looks very good underneath here, which is nice. Um, really no concerns about anything. Uh, all the brake fluid also is clear as water and topped off. I uh, didn't need any topping off, it was already good. The um, rear tires actually showed more of that um, little bumpy kind of thing. Um, I can't really show it to you in the video, so you have to trust me on it, but this should help um, get a little bit more life out of it. Did another oil and filter change, and uh, I think we are good to go. So back at uh, Patriot Chevrolet, these panels have been uh, taken off for the uh, transmission fluid change and filter. Uh, just a quick look back in here with those panels taken off. Uh, kind of get a little bit more of an inside view of the chassis structure than before. So this is the uh, second of two services in between um, Blackhawk Farms and Land Speed Racing in preparation of uh, Road America in about a month. So, so far so good.